what are some, you know, kind of key things that you see or look for uh, when a trend is kind of, you know, when, when you think it's a good time to step away from a trend? Uh, and then what are some things that you kind of look out for when, you know, you think a, a new trend or a, a previous trend is, is reemerging? Yeah, that's a, a really good, really good question. I think like the key indicator um, for anything dying is kind of a liquidity outflow. So an exodus of liquidity, uh, price action kind of slowing. The things that would be very obvious um, when you start to see the hype die down, the FOMO die down, uh, unrest, uneasiness within, so if you're within Discord service, so we'll use NFTs, for example, if you're in these uh, NFT projects and you start to notice people are getting upset and things are irking people when when times are good people are happy and they're 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 huffing the proverbial copium if you will and they're they'll find some way to feel like everything is fine even if it's not if they're holding on to a glimpse of hope uh they'll keep a positive attitude but when shit really hits the fan and things are going bad you'll start to see sentiment emotional sentiment uh rear its ugly head and present itself very obvious so or obviously excuse me um, so you'll see that within the Discord servers. You'll see it on the timeline. The negative sentiment, the fear index, if you will, will really start to amplify. And that's something that you kind of have to be tied in and active in the space to start to notice across all servers or across crypto Twitter or across just the, the environment in general. So that's generally the first thing I'll look for is when there's a retracement in the market. Uh, so I'm always watching charts. Uh, you know, I, I do TA on the side and yes some people think it's bullshit but at the same time ta is just a really good representation of human psychology in a lot of ways uh so i keep an eye on price action and one thing i've noticed in the space is that people are very bipolar and i hate it it's actually one of the one things i hate about this space is that most people have never really been exposed to any sort of adversity or risk in their real lives, right? And that's okay. A lot of people live sheltered lives. I've had a pretty fucking insane life, to be honest. And that's not a brag. It's it's a like, yeah, dude, I broke my back. I broke my neck. I fucking been arrested multiple times when I was younger. Like, there's all kinds of shit that I did that was stupid. And that adversity kind of gave me a hardened shell to be able to sit in this space and be like, oh, this is a fucking joke, dude. Like, let's just breathe and get through this shit. So when you start to see people panic and freak out and they they have the ebb and flow of emotions, um, that's a good indicator usually for me to go, all right, what should I be buying while these people are so scared? And I know this technology is not going anywhere. So how can I position myself to accumulate the bags of those that don't have the conviction that they need uh, in order to survive in this space? So <clears throat> without going too long here, bro, my bad. Definitely 100% look at just overall sentiment, be involved, be deep uh, within it. And when you start to see things going negative, that's usually an indication there's going to be some exodus of liquidity and maybe a trend uh, dying. So that was your that was your first question. What was the second question again, bro? No, you're good. Uh, the second question, um, you know, was about spotting, you know, when something's coming back up. You kind of yeah. already answered it a little bit, but I'm sure you could you could dive deeper. Yeah, no, that's, that's solid. Um, so honestly, when you're when you're in this space for a long time, you'll start to have it's kind of something that most people probably won't want to hear is that you'll have connections within this space who they kind of have a barometer for what's going on within their their segment of the market, right? You you as a single individual can't monitor everything, and some of the best plays that I've ever have have come from my circle of people. So there's definitely a uh, circle of friends. Mine's very small, um, but they'll reach out just like the Reddit thing, for example. They'll go, hey, this is going on. What do you think about this? And then it's up to me as an individual to look into it and go, OK, so, you know, so and so told me this. He's got a really good reputation for having decent calls on what he thinks is good. He's an intelligent individual. He works for blah, 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 blah. He's not some bull bullshit artist. And uh, so I take that and I go, OK, now let's look into it based on that, because one, he's already kind of passed that first great filter of being a, a reliable source of information. So I go from there and then I look into it myself and I dig in and I go, OK, is this bullshit or not? So that's one way is kind of having a, a, a good network of people, I guess, is what I'm getting at. And one of the most valuable things you can have is to make friends. So if I can leave you guys with anything uh, from this space is to like really drop the introvert side of your personality if you have one really work to to curve that shit and i know it's much easier said than done for some people but make friends in this space scratch people's back don't be afraid to do things for free to 
leverage yourself as a better friend to individuals. Help people out because at the end of the day, it will come full circle. So that's one way I do it. The other way I do it is if I start to see, well, I'll say a good indicator for being cautious is that if you see it on the timeline, you're usually too late. I, I'll tell everyone that. If you're seeing it on the timeline, you've probably already missed your entrance to that trend. Now, that's not to say something can evolve from that and you can hop into, you know, V2 of whatever trend it is. But definitely keep in mind that if you see big influencers and you see people talking about something, they're really working to groom you for exit liquidity in anything they're working on because they wouldn't be talking about it unless they're hyper bullish on it. And it's something that they're building personally or have some vested interest in for building and they really believe in it. They wouldn't be talking about it. Uh, they would just be actively participating in it and making as much money as possible. Because at the end of the day, it all comes down to how much can you make in this space? What does it do for me? It's a very selfish space and it's something that people should really, really be aware of. So that's an indicator for when to be cautious. Uh, other than that, it's just time in the trenches. I guess you could say, I hate it. And we say trenches all the time here. It's not really the trenches. The trenches are probably over in Ukraine where you're getting shot at by 762. That's like true stress. This is a comfy. We're sitting on our couch and we're trading coins, digital money on the internet. But time in the trenches is true uh, because you get the experience and you kind of get to get that barometer, that feel for what potentially could work because you have the experience and you, you know what to look for. So I don't think there's a definitive an answer for you. To be honest, um, it's just time in the trenches, I guess would be the best way to put it. It's just experience. Like you have to participate.